Uh, any immediate loot? There's something up there. Just, you know, a random sack. <laughs> sure. Anything good? Eh, I think that's some new crafting material, but... Okay. How about in the buildings? Can I loot your stuff? You have no stuff. I mean, you have plenty of stuff, but nothing that is clickable according to, uh... In accordance to Dragon Age law. I cannot click it. Sundering. Ooh. It's not half bad, actually. Uh, you know what? Let's look at that stuff, right? So, bull. Where did he go? Okay. 266. Oh, weapons, two-handers. Yeah, that's quite good. It does have a corrupting rune. But the base damage isn't too bad. Um... Yeah, you know what? Should we, or wait, what about Sundering? And nope. Looks like we're giving him that. Oh wait, but well, that's the one he's using, right? Is this guard damage bonus? Okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What does that even look like? It looks like they put sheet metal on the end of a stick and called it good. Okay. I don't want two ander weapons. Thanks so. <laughs> so that's mild problem with contextual stuff. There's a bit of lamp there. I don't need to go there. It's just open, um, open coast that I, hold on. <laughs> now I'm curious. I don't remember if there was a rift there or not. So why not? Let's just go uncover it first and then we'll go back north. Yeah, that's the problem with contextual loot. Uh, what I mean by that is, oh my gosh. Seriously? <laughs> Thank you. Like, the Avar are known for their big two-handed weapons, their frozen stuff, but the problem with that is if you're doing a, a DLC or a mission set or whatever you want to you know, call it, whatever it is in any game, if it then drops loot based on that stuff, I mean, if you want it to have as much contextual meaning as possible, you're going to get two-handed weapons. Likewise, if you were playing a Dragon Age game and suddenly you came across a civilization that had guns and you looted everything, everything would be guns, right? So in what way, and this is an interesting about, or an interesting thing about designing, oh hey look, the waves are fixed, cool. Or maybe it's just fixed here and not down there. It's an interesting thing about designing an, uh, uh, an RPG because at what state do you say, oh yeah, the Avar, they totally have these awesome daggers just sitting around for, you know, their rogue. It's like, what rogue? I haven't seen a single Avar rogue yet. I, I mean, there's a dude with a bow. That might count. So it makes you wonder. Like, what? what is that, that point that they have to somehow put it in there? Like, oh, the civilization with guns? There's totally a rad shield that this guy has. It's like, but the civilization no longer uses, you know, primitive weaponry. Why do they have a shield? Oh, it's it's left over from previously. Oh, then why isn't it in some kind of like, you know, treasury where they're storing relics of an old time? I don't know. So like, it's, it's, it's an interesting thing. Thus far, I've picked up a lot of two-handers and a bow. Right. Wait for the climb to finish. What climb? See, I actually haven't done this before. I started going through hack on. I never ended up finishing it because of time constraint. So, yeah, sorry about that. This place is really cool. It reminds me of Booty Bay. <laughs> um, yeah. So for those of you who are like, we prefer blind playthroughs. Well, you're about to get that a little bit Sounds here. Sounds like a party. Or a party fight. Hello? Housekeeping? There's a note. There's also a shop. 
Sketches found in a meat shop. Series of drawings, simple but artfully rendered, indicates the owner of this meat shop decided to spend the day mixing up chemical potions, more likely alcohol, alcoholic drinks, and that people should take what they like and pay him later. Right. On Avar Cuisine. Your Food. climbers seem tired, thanks, on hand. Or hunting. Is your hold beast well? Okay, what do you have uh, for land? Oh, so he's got like a ton of, okay. Okay, I see. Wait, buy. Does he have anything else? No. Oh, okay, we that's fine. Well you would be safer under the shield of the jaws of Hakon. Hask Fisherson has taken victory in sight of the Lady of the Skies. Pav, you owe four rounds to Hask, not three. Ha! Ted is tits. <laughs> Wind, lift your oaths to the Lady of the Skies, and hand the rams over come sunrise. May your people be as strong as your hold beast. An interesting way to resolve a conflict. We should speak with the Thane. Right. That was interesting. So it's like a rock climbing wall, and they, whoever climbed faster resolves the issue? We've heard of your arrival, Lowlanders. Come, share my fire where we might speak. If I'm a Lowlander, are you a Highlander? Because there can only be one. I am Svara Sunhair, Thane of Stone Bear Hold. You have guest welcome here. The Lowlanders have little love for your Dalish clans. I am impressed that you came to lead their Inquisition. You and your people have come far from the safety of the Lowlands. Uh, we're not attacking. We have not come to cause trouble in your home, Thane. We have learned that the last Inquisitor may have died here hundreds of years ago. We seek his body. Giving peace to the dead is a worthy quest. Any help we can offer is yours. I like you. Sadly, the jaws of Hakon will not offer so warm a welcome. You have met their thane, Gerd Harrifson. I wager you have crossed blades with the jaws of Hakon in the wilderness. If you would search this place for your Inquisitor's body, they will want you to pay in blood. Um, yeah, boat. Let me find the Hakonites. Okay, let's let's ask some questions, yeah. How did you get the name Sun Hair? I was born Svara Janus Dotted. For my legend mark, I once fought a battle with my hair on fire. <laughs> you lit your hair on fire? An enemy archer lit my hair on fire. I was locked shield to shield with a foe, and I had no time to douse it. It scared my foes. My hair was braided long enough that I could spare it. It stank worse than goat shit, though. <laughs> yeah. Burning hair is gross smelling. When I first entered your hold, there was a climbing contest of some sort. What was that? The test of the lady. We use it to settle disputes when it is not clear who has the right of it. There are others. For the test of the mountain father, you battle with verse while those who favor you hold you aloft. The test of Hakon is battle with blunted weapons. Okay. That's not fair. No, it actually seems kind of reasonable. It seems as fair a way as any to decide such matters. In many cases, the law is clear. The tests are only for real disputes. As Thane, I may guide the gods in finding who is worthy. I decide which test will settle the dispute. I may also ask a warrior whose claim is foolish to climb with stones strapped to his back. Okay. Um... Tell me of Stone Bear. I'd like to hear more about Stone Bear Hold. We are not the largest hold, but our warriors are strong, and our singers are pretty. Ah, oh, words are for boasting around the fireside. You should look yourself, if you will. Okay. I'd like to know more about the jaws of Hakon. They are not the first hold to take that name. All have been foolish. What would you know of them? What do the Jaws of Hakon believe that makes them so angry? A wise man honors each god to its strength. Bjorn Reedbeard for fishing, Rilla of the Fireside for making babies. <laughs> the Hakonites care only for Hakon Winter's Breath, god of war and winter. There is no evil in Hakon. There are times to fight, but the Jaws of Hakon care for nothing else. They raid, they fight. Eventually they die and their stories are forgotten. It is the way of things. Okay. 
Some of you have the recent group. Some of you have the early group. You know, um, early. You said that there were earlier groups known as the Jaws of Hakon. Yes, many ages ago. They thought of nothing but slaughter glory. They attacked the Lowlanders. Your people fought back and destroyed them. They were fools. Tell me of the recent. What can you tell me of the people now calling themselves the Jaws of Hakon? They came here a few years ago. After the Blight took their hold. There was land enough for both, so we were friendly. We did not see their anger. Gerd Harrison lost too many in his hold to Darkspawn. He thought only of battle and war. To avenge a wrong is a good thing. But only a fool lights the world on fire to do it. I'll speak with you later. Walk with the lady's blessing. Okay, new operation available. Ooh. Ooh. So there's the Thane stuff, okay. Um. Okay, I need more approval, gotcha. Okay, so that's how I do it. So I gotta get approval to impress the hold to get a boat. There's gonna be a boat joke later. There is always going to be a boat joke. <laughs> Don't lie, you know it was coming. Right, let's go, yeah, let's go up here. Because, well, for one, it, I mean, it's just up there. Two, I really was kind of curious about, uh, did I look inside this house? I did. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. There's a shop. It loops around, and then I can hop off and go north or more north, uh, where there should be another shop according to my map. So, trader, buy and sell. I could talk to him. I probably should. You're the one they speak about in the lowlands, aren't you? The Herald of Andraste. Many call me that. Helm's Dim Rolfson. I trade our goods outside the hold. You'll not find better this side of the mountain. <laughs> Good close up of, uh, of Bull. Have you traveled outside of Stone Bear Hold? Course Mountain Father provides. But press us, and we'll admit there's lowlander goods we can't craft ourselves. I sell our goods there. The old trader taught me how to read and write, and how to act in your cities. Where does your trading take you? Denerim and Southreach in Ferelden. Leeds and Verche in Orlais. When the passes are clear, I take our wares to Val Royo. Interesting. Surely you can get a fair price for your goods closer than Val Royo. Ah, well, that's truth, but have you seen it? My heart lies with the hold, but I'll die remembering the light on the gates of the sun. Val Royo is pretty. One of the most beautiful cities in the world. Everyone thinks I'm mad when I speak of Orlais. They believe I make half of it up. As if I could dream up those fountains and palaces. And those frilly little cakes. <laughs> Most in the hold call any city outside the mountains prideful or lowlander folly. I see. Farewell. Another time. All right, what do you have to sail? S s sell? Not sail. He's not s sailing anywhere, I don't think. Oh, I'm gonna spend my money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, some of you just went and watched my my saved up money just absolutely drop and freaked out about it. Others of you are excited to see Skyhold taken over by the Avar, and that is exactly what's gonna happen. The next time I go back, I'm gonna turn it into an Avar fortress of Avariness. Except, except my throne. I mean, my throne's pretty rad. So he arrives. Don't throng. Behold, worthy ones, the man who blazes like fire and mends the air. Oh crap! <laughs> what is this? It's safe. They mean no harm. I am the ogre of Stone Bear Hold. I greet you, as do our gods and the gods of our ancestors. Yes, it is done. Now come, be welcome, and hear news of the North. Uh, what was that? Did you just introduce me to spirits? 
The gods of the hold clamored to see you. I obeyed. For I'm their voice and their augur. And if I didn't show you off, they'd hound me for months. <laughs> what did you mean when you said I blaze like a fire? How do you think you appear to the gods of the Fade? To those beyond the veil, your hand burns like the watchman's bonfire. That is interesting. Are you saying every spirit in the Fade knows where I am? Only those nearby, but thoughts spread quickly among the gods. I see you've already killed one. A thing of envy that grasped for your crown. What are these whispers clinging to you? Less and more than spirits. They sing old hurts. You can hear the well of sorrows. An echo's echo. I've seen the last whispers of aged elf song in the fade. What you carry is older. Whoa! I was awesome. That was so I'd much like lore. To ask something. Then ask. D can you tell me any? Oh, okay, hold on. We got to figure more out about him, so that way we kind of know more about what he was talking about. I assume auger is another word for mage. I am a mage. Yet not all mages are augurs. I give counsel to other mages and the same. In turn. An auger takes counsel from the gods and shares it with the hold. I make their will known to us and ours to them. So you negotiate? So you're an ambassador to the local spirits. Some have wisdom for those willing to listen. They protect the hold. They help drive off spirits who've gone bad with rage or gloom. The gods live with us. Ignore their offerings, offer them nothing, and it weakens us all. Hmm. I've heard enough to realize that when you say gods, you mean spirits. Why do you pray to them? We offer to them. We don't pray like the lowlanders to a creator they think will weather all the ages. Do you actually think they're divine beings? Something more than magic? The spirits watched us even before we came from the north. They shaped themselves into our gods, and we grew to love them. Their secret gift is this, Inquisitor. They reflect us as water does the sky. They show us what we wish to be. That image gives us strength. For that, we thank the gods. That is I should be off. really interesting. Farewell. So, first thing, the, all of the spirits in the Fade see me, just like... If, if I'm walking through the, the real world as I am now, and then, oh, I forgot about fall damage. I thought I was on my mount. Um, also, there's a quest here above her. Did I get from her, maybe? Inquisitor. Um, the Hacker Knights are attacking my people. Did I ask this? I would welcome any assistance you could offer. Bathing my blade in the blood of the Hacker Knights would be cause for a feast for most in this hold. The Hakonites are fools, and they have forgotten the old ways. But we have pledged peace with them. To attack with lowlanders at our side would make us oathbreakers. Relax, Bull. This is poor weather for me to ask that of my hold. <laughs> Can I change your mind? I understand your concern. Is there anything I could do to help? Among the Avar, a hold draws strength from its hold beast. They are as kin to us. When our hold beast is strong and happy, there is joy. When it sickens and dies, it is an ill omen. Our bear, Storvacker, has not been seen in days. The hold fears for her. I cannot ask the hold to break peace oaths unless Storvacker returns. I think I leveled up. <laughs> uh, are you looking for the bear? How do you care for the bear? Oh gosh, there's so much here. You have members of the Hold searching for Storvacker. The Hold is already fearful. A great hunt for our Hold beast would show weakness to the Hakonites. If she were dead, the Augur would know. So the hunters watch for tracks. That is all we can do. Right. I'm a little confused about why I have to find a bear in order to gain the support of your tribe. Storvacker is not a bear. She is our hold beast. 
She ties us to the gods. Without her, we... I have heard your elf gods turn from you. Is that not a bad thing? It is as that. I know more of this world than the world of spirits. Speak with our augur if you would know more. They're our gods, not yours. For you, it is enough that Storvaka matters to us. Yeah, that's cool. Um. The way you asked us to help find Storvaka made it sound like you were willing to break your oath. I could say that Avar hold all oaths sacred. That no true Avar would break them. It would be a good lie. Lowlanders doubtless say the same of themselves. A cunning fane can find a hole in the tent of any promise. A place for the cold wind to sneak in. We are bone and blood. Oaths last until they are broken. If I find your bear and you break the oath, what happens to Stone Bear Hold? Other holds share oaths with the jaws of Hakon. They are sworn to defend or avenge them. If the Hakonites were friends, they would attack us. But they are friends to few. We will send offerings, trade, and gifts to pay the price of oath-breaking. The storm will pass. I do not do this lightly, Inquisitor. But the Hakonites are tiresome. Interesting. Does Storvaka usually live in the hole? Does she stay in a pen, or...? <sighs> Pens are for goats and chickens, not hold kin. The Avar are free. So must be our hold beasts. Storvaka lives in a cave near the hold. She comes to visit if she wishes to see us. We bring her gifts of food. Not enough that she will not hunt for herself. Maybe I shouldn't bring this up, but bears and I traditionally do not get along. <laughs> you were fought bears. <laughs> you lived. Good for you. Fear will keep you respectful should you find Storvaka. You will be fine. So you're saying she's friendly? Um... <laughs> Yeah, about that. I'll speak with you later. Ask those in the hold about Storvaka. They may know something they have not told me. <laughs> I did level up. That's funny. That is really funny. Um, it's it's almost like the game knows that I just am constantly attacked by bears. <laughs> Inquisitor. I was told I needed your permission to borrow a boat from the fishermen. Did I ask this? Ah, Rolfson. He worries like a scared baby goat. The boat is yours. Tell him I said so. Oh, well, that's easy. I'll speak with you later. Farewell. Okay, that went a lot better than I thought it would. Right, um, we have... Is that up or down? Oh, crap, I hate when they do that. It looks like it's up. Yeah, because I jumped off of that. Okay, okay. Mount. Get over here. This, this is quite fun. Yeah, so it's interesting. So the, the, the spirits in the Fade can see me because they see the anchor. They they constantly see the anchor, which means that's why they were saying the one that burns like fire. They, they, they're constantly seeing the anchor moving around on this person. Um, that is really cool. First and foremost, that is really cool. Secondly, I like that this guy was like, oh, I... You have these whispers. You have these voices following you around, and it mentions the thing with the Well of Sorrows. Be welcome. Do you know where your whole beast may have gone? Storvaka. No. I've asked the gods, but they've seen no sign. All right, cool. Thank you. I should be off. Farewell. Yeah, it's cool that he was like, "Oh man, there's voice. Like you have voices that are following you." <laughs> But the cooler part of that is not the voices, but the fact that he says, it's that poor nut, is the fact that he says, you know, they, they aren't the gods. They're older than the elven gods. And it's like, oh, what? What? Man, I hope some of this is at least addressed in Trespasser because I need it to be. This is amazing. It's so cool. Ooh, there's a lot of food in here. Oh my. You're the Inquisitor. I hear your people already sing songs of you. Yep. How are you so well informed? Oh, Helstim soaks up gossip when he goes trading. He just returned from the lowlands. I'm Fulna Hestotten, Keeper of Histories and Skold to the Hold. I've never met a Skold. Is that anything like a bard? 
I suppose. Every hold has someone who sings its songs. Doesn't yours? Fair enough. We keep the old songs and histories, the oaths and the legend marks. Hmm, what's a legend mark? I understood all of that except legend mark. The skald before me was born Gulda Elsdotter. She crafted a great new tale for the hold. It pleased the spirits. After that, we called her Gulda Gildan's Song. So they're titles, honorifics. Not all carry glory. My father was Heth Mule's head. He'd never let go of a quarrel. Can you choose a legend mark for yourself? Only if I wanted to be scorned as a child. I've only been a scold a few years. I've not made any great feats, good or ill, yet. I see. Farewell. It's cool good to get journeys. a bit of this, like, um, contextual lore about the indigenous people, right? It would be like going to Australia and talking to Aborigines, right? And learning about the Aboriginals and, and just th their whole culture and everything. Like, that's, that's kind of what I'm doing here. Like, I'm in a different land as a completely different person. And with respect to the people who inhabit th this place, I'm walking around going, what the heck is all of this? Explain it like I'm five, please. <laughs> and they're doing a pretty good job of it. Be welcome, Inquisitor. Though I fear I've time for little more than a greeting. I must prepare these souls for their greater journey. Particularly those who depart without the reverence due. Are you gonna their look at me? Is often hardest. Um, is there a problem? Will someone not be given proper rights? Calden Enverson is one of the few whose soul may return. Bloodkin must make an offering to the Huntmaster who prepares it. Or so it should be. Calden's son, Finn, has failed in this duty, but then there's you. Me? You're a guest of our hold. A gift from you cannot be refused. Even an offering for Calden. Mm. I cannot dictate the nature of a gift, but if my suggestion appeals to you, speak to the Huntmaster. Right. I'm not familiar with Avar funerals. May I ask what proper rites entail? When the time comes, we are given sky burials. For most, the body is laid out and prayers given. When the birds come, they carry the soul to the Lady of the Skies. The body, unneeded, is gone. For most? Some souls, such as Calden's, are chosen to return. The auger reads the signs of birth. It is a rare honor. In order to return, an offering is made to Korth, the Mountain Father, and buried beneath the body. A piece of the soul thus remains, allowing the rest to return to this world and be reborn. I should be off. Lady, keep you. That's all really interesting. Okay. Uh, speak to the sun, speak with the hunt master. Jeez, there's a lot of stuff to do here. Whew. Uh, and we are just kind of like working our way through it though. I'm okay with that. Like I'm not, I'm not feeling at any point here that I'm like, oh, it's not enough to do, you know? I'm feeling like, yeah, we're, we're making a pretty big dent in, um, in the content. Also, I leveled up, so I probably should spend this point. Correct? Correct. Any passives that I need immediately? What about these passives? Uh, plus three cunning. Your attacks on panicked or sleeping enemies are automatically critical hits. Or while you're in stealth and shortly after leaving it, your attacks ignore some of your target's armor. Wow, that is really good. And let's just take that. Cool. Let's work our way down to that passive. What's up, guys? Uh, oh, that's like a camp. Craft weapons, armor. I can open this. There's a shop with weapons? Ooh. 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 I mean, mine are better, but... Ooh, right? Uh, oh, that's all under sell. Let's look for buy. Can you... Ooh. 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 <laughs> Don't mind me. Oh, these are all tier three. Who cares about tier three? I only want tier four. In fact, we had picked up when I 
opposite the giant? It may have been a rift. Um, yeah. Craft armor. It was like mail of some sort. That is... I can't tell. Where does it say what tier it is? Oh, right underneath. Okay, tier two, tier three. There was a tier four thing that I picked up. Ah, it was this. Okay. 280. So, like, what is... I don't know. Uh, Cassandra, what are you using? Doesn't say, but that's about 280. So, if I close out of this and I go to... Uh, Cassandra, she's using 159. That's a big upgrade. Can I actually craft one of those? Um, oh, my hood. That was rad. Wait. Was that... That had to have been my hood, right? Uh, look, it was cool. Either way. So we'll do this. Um, yeah, it looks like I have everything for it. So we could do like... Uh, obviously, we want that at 280. High armor rating. Dawnstone. 215. That's 280, but I don't have enough of that. 215, 280, 250. Two, uh, no, okay. I, I have enough for like 1280, I think. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Cool. So, Dawnstone with 10% heal bonus, spirit resist, fire resist. That's pretty good. In fact, I am going to take some fire resist. Uh, should I just give her, like, super resistance resistances? So, like, cold resist, right? I, was, I had 18, right? That was, uh... I don't think I have a 20 cold. Do I? 18 again. I know, this is super not interesting. That's fine. We'll do great bear hide. And, uh... That's HPs. I mean, I may as well do like 78 additional or 96. Where was that? Aha. Ooh, so that's new material. And then finally, 40% chance of masterwork, 100% chance of masterwork. I mean, I kind of want to do a masterwork, right? 30% um, focus gain, 5% chance, mind blast. I saw something about walking fortress. Is there anything cool like um, on hit gain five guard, you know? Like that's a good one. She tends to have a lot of guard already. I kind of want to just give her a masterwork. That sounds like fun. Craft item. 308 armor, look at that. That's why the masterwork is good. Inventory. Uh, Cassandra, hey girl. Hey, you know that awesome armor piece that you're currently using that I could totally upgrade because of, you know, armors and ar arms, arms, legs, things, heavy arms and heavy legs. Let's do that. Let's let's upgrade that. Uh, Cassandra. <laughs> hey, heavy armor. Um. Oh, like, wait, where did I make that before? Male arms. I don't have any legs. I don't have any heavy legs. Ah, crap. Okay, well, at least get the arms going, right? So, I could give her more HP. Or melee defense. Is that is 14 the highest? I think I had higher than that, did I not? 8, 8, 80. Okay, that'll work. And then... Fire resist, max health, melee defense. Staggers. Might, I might just go just health, honestly. Yeah, so I had a pretty good one. 52, is that the highest? 60. 60, I think, is the highest. And that's Dawnstone, so that's, that's good stuff. And could I... Oh, no, I have to do that from the upgrade. That's right. Sorry, it's been a while, obviously, since I've done this. Wait, that's crap weapons. Oh, can I just, like... Put it on. Uh, upgrades. Can I? I think I have to do it from the upgrade window. Do I not? Okay, that's fine. I got it now, so we could, we could probably do like a skyhold thing with it. Um, 
Where else do I need to go? What the heck? There's stuff still up here? Why do they dress like that? Don't you make fun of me? Ah, oh, crap. I gotta go, like, this way, don't I? You know what? I may as well make a sky... F uh, a sky hold... run for crafting. Hmm. Do I want to do that? I kind of do. You know what? Let's let's do that, and then we'll come back and uh, get the rest of this done real quick. Thank you.